In this video, I like to describe matter and how matter is classified. Simply put, matter is all the stuff around us. Solids, liquids, gases, plasmas, whatever other states of matter that can exist. There are two broad categories of matter, pure substances and mixtures. Elements and compounds are pure substances. Elements are liquids, solids, and gases that are composed of a single type of atom. Examples of elements are hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, pure iron, copper, zinc, lead, nitrogen gas, liquid mercury, Compounds are solids, liquids, and gases that are composed of two or more different types of elements in a fixed ratio. Some examples of compounds are water, pure water, pure sodium chloride, or sometimes people will call that salt, vitamin A, vitamin E, all of the individual B vitamins. Mixtures, on the other hand, are two or more different pure substances. There are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixture has uniform ratio of substances throughout a sample of that homogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture, on the other hand, has non-uniform ratio of substances throughout that heterogeneous mixture. One of the big questions that comes about when asked to determine if matter is a homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture is how do you tell? Well, for our purposes, because we're not going to use sophisticated instrumentation to get down at the molecular level, we're going to go by simply visual assessment. The other big question that comes about is, how is a compound not a mixture? For example, water. Water is made up of two different atoms, hydrogen and oxygen. Why isn't that a mixture? Well, compounds have their atoms, or their elements, chemically bound. Mixtures, on the other hand, have components that are not chemically bound together. So, for example, a homogeneous mixture would be salt water. Assuming all of the salt has dissolved, the two pure substances in salt water are water and sodium chloride. Here are some examples to help practice in determining if matter is a pure substance or a mixture. These examples are matter at the particulate or at the atomic level. The first example, on the far left, is a sample of black atoms combined with two red atoms that are bound. Because these two red atoms are bound, they're considered an element. Remember, an element is matter composed of one type of atom. So the black dots can represent an element, and the two red dots bound represent another element. Collectively, are these black dots and two red dots a mixture or a pure substance? Remember, a mixture is two or more pure substances in a particular volume. So this would be a mixture. Next, in the middle, it appears that there are two different atoms bound, a blue atom and a red atom. So recall the definition of a pure substance Pure substance is either an element or a compound. Well, an element is something made up of only one type of atom. Well, these 
are made up of two different atoms. And if you remember the definition of a compound, compound is something that is made up of two different atoms, at least two different atoms that are bound, chemically bound. So this is a pure substance. The last example is an example of an element because these are two identical atoms bound, chemically bound. In this example, we're asked to determine if these three types of matter are a pure substance, a homogeneous mixture, or a heterogeneous mixture. Now to determine if something is a heterogeneous mixture or a homogeneous mixture, it's best to travel through the sample and determine if the ratio of one pure substance to the other is consistent as you travel through the sample. So if I start on the left corner and I travel through the sample, it appears that there's an inconsistent ratio of the, blue el the light blue element to the dark blue element. There is more dark blue element in the center of this sample than there is on the outer regions of the sample. So there is an inconsistent ratio or distribution of light blue element to dark blue element. So this is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Next, we have an example of a pure substance. There's only one type of compound in this sample volume and that is a compound made up of a purple and a light blue atom. So this is a pure substance. And lastly, we have a mixture. The mixture is composed of a red element and a blue element. As you travel through the sample, there appears to be a consistent ratio or distribution of red element to blue element. So this would be an example of a homogeneous mixture. Now we'll go through some examples at the macro level. So a chocolate chip cookie is a good example of a heterogeneous mixture. As you travel through this cookie, you encounter an inconsistent distribution of dough to chocolate chips. Assuming this is purified water, the glass contains only water molecules. Water molecules consist of two hydrogen atoms bound to one oxygen atom. So water is a good example of a compound. Therefore, what's in the glass is not a mixture. It is a pure substance. On the other hand, if we have carbonated liquid, there is water in the glass in addition to bubbles. And the bubbles are carbon dioxide bubbles. So carbon dioxide, CO2, itself is a pure substance. Water itself is another pure substance. But they're together in the volume. They're together in this mixture. So is this mixture homogeneous or heterogeneous? Well, as you travel from one end of the sample to the other end, I hope you see that you'll encounter a different distribution of carbon dioxide bubbles at the top than you do at the very bottom, where at the very bottom there's hardly any, if none. So this is a good example of a heterogeneous mixture. Diamond is composed of carbon atoms only. And there's a reason why they put the C here, to remind you that diamond is an element of carbon. So this is not a mixture. It is a pure substance, because an element or a compound can be a pure substance. The small pile of potassium dichromate and they give you the formula for this substance. 
And the three different types of atoms in this substance are bound in this ratio of two potassiums, two chromiums, and seven oxygens. So like water, H2O, and carbon dioxide, CO2, K2Cr2O7 is also a compound. So this is a pure substance. Now if some of that potassium dichromate you just saw is dissolved in water, you no longer have a pure substance. You have a mixture of two pure substances. Relying on our visual assessment only, as we travel through this beaker of mixture, it appears that the solution is identical at the top, the middle, and at the bottom. In other words, there's an equal distribution of water and potassium dichromate in this volume. So this is an example of a homogeneous mixture. Here's a picture of quartz. I hope it's pretty apparent as you travel through this sample, like the chocolate chip cookie, there's an unequal distribution of these different types of minerals in this sample of quartz. So this is a heterogeneous mixture.